student and I'm the marketing consultant for Trevi. Uh, what I do here is I coordinate the um, marketing efforts as well as the strategic and branding efforts for Trevi as a company. <clears throat> I think Trevi has been able to bring the community closer, especially the online community, by uh, giving a place where um, people can come together and talk on the forums, they meet, they share ideas um, without any barriers, I mean without the social barriers of meeting people and all So that's the advantage of being an online medium. With Trevi, you get a lot of people who meet up uh, for friends, they hang out and you get large groups of friends. <clears throat> and yes, yes, you definitely do get people who, who build uh, very good friendships and relationships to Trevi. Um, of course, uh, I mean, I believe I myself have met some rather good friends in Trevi. One of Trevi's goals is to educate um, on, you know, educate the public on being gay, what it is like, um, even HIV prevention programs. Our hope of, is, of course, to, to, to bring the community together, to give a place where uh, young people and uh, well, the gay community in general can come together and be themselves. You know, whether it is at uh, parties, whether it's outdoors or watching movies, whatever it is, somewhere where they can meet other like-minded people and just be themselves, you know, without fear. I think gay rights is something, um, gay rights I feel is very much like um, uh, women's rights. You're going to have people who go, you know, we want these rights because the men can do it and the street people can do it. Um, yeah, there are certain rules that need to be changed and there are certain rules that must be changed. But I do believe very strongly that in some cases, <clears throat> If you're going to hit your head against a brick wall, um, you're going to break your head first before the wall gives way. And the way forward is to slowly chip away, slowly, slowly chip away at it, you know. And then we'll move ahead, we'll move ahead. Things will change, that's for sure. It just takes time. You know? Coming out in Singapore is a multifaceted issue. It's not just uh, being who you are, being uh, an identity, you know. It, there are a lot of issues we have to consider and we're not just talking about governmental issues. Uh, we're talking about community issues, we're talking about social issues, we're talking about culture, we're talking about race. There's so many things that are involved. I think if you're going to take yourself as an individual uh, outside of a community, you stand alone. You stand alone, yes, by all means, do whatever you want. All right? No one's going to care about you because there's no one else around you. But when you're part of a community, when you're part of a greater group, you've got to start considering for yourself what's best for you and what is going to work. You are not going to do very well if you're going to say, you know, hey, this is me. Uh, I'm going to be whatever way I like and I don't care about anyone else. And people are just going to view you as you're selfish. It doesn't matter whether you're gay or straight or whatever. You behave that way, you can come out as being selfish. I think you've, you've got to try to balance being yourself without hurting the people around you and making sure that you don't tread on people's toes, the people around you who you care about. Okay, the people you care about, especially your family. That's the what that's the important thing. Um, hmm. I think if you ask uh, different people of different age groups here in Singapore, you get a different answer. I um when you're young you're invincible, 
no, whether you're straight or gay, you're gonna feel, as I said, invincible. The world is yours, no one's gonna stop you. There's nothing anyone can do that can get in your way. Anyone who gets in my way, I'm gonna bulldoze my way through. I can do it, I can make it. You get a little bit older <clears throat> and you realize, yeah, the world is still yours. You've just got to earn your keep. And as you mature, you start to realize that gay or straight, you are a member of the human race. And I think that's the most important. That we share the universal values of being human, you know, acceptance, um, respect for each other's values and rights. You, when you're younger, you feel invincible. You feel that the world is at your feet. You do, you can do anything. You can conquer the world. Um, no one's going to get in your way. As you get older, you mature, you're going to start thinking, you know what, I've got to respect other people if they want to respect me, if I, if I want them to respect me. <clears throat> and um, you find you don't, you, you don't feel so invincible. And I think that's what it all boils down to. It all boils down to respect for each other and everyone else around you as, as members of the human race. What's it like day to day I suppose one day I just woke up and I realized that there are a lot of hang-ups that I have about being who I am. And these hang-ups anchor me to a, a position which doesn't allow me to move forward. Okay? And that's what it's like when you have these hang-ups within yourself. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta accept yourself. And from there, you, you carry yourself in such a way where um, people will see, you know, this guy doesn't have any issues. He's just like one of us. You know, he has made his choices, but in every other aspect, he's one of us. And that's what they'll do. They'll treat you as their own. You know, and we do the same thing. When we see somebody acting all conceited and, you know, selfish, we go, no, he's not one of us. We don't hang out with him. It's a very natural human response. But when, you, when somebody starts to do things that include you, or include them, and everyone, gets, everyone else gets involved, everyone else starts to accept the different characteristics of each person. You know? And that's how we move on, that's how we mature. Being gay is, is I don't know, it's not, an issue, being gay is just being human. You know, that's what we're trying to say here. Let's not have that distinction of, of you know, we're gay, we're special, 